Good afternoon, good evening, uh, good morning, depending on when you're watching this. I wanted to go over how I keep, not how I keep my knife sharp, but how I maintain an edge in between sharpenings. So I'm going to go over the recently reviewed Adventure Sworn Mountaineer. And what I've done for that is, this is what I use for kitchen knives and for all of my bushcraft outdoors knives, even up to sometimes axes, depending on what they're meant for. Um, but what I have here is just a piece of 2x4 that I have cut and milled the surfaces flat on, and then I have taken a epoxy and glued a strip of leather down, uh, and cut the leather to size, and all of that stuff. I've put, as you can see, it says half micron on it. I've put half micron diamond paste on the strap, and that's what I'll use to maintain my edges. So, of course, with a bushcraft knife, I'm going to follow my bevel, my scanty grind. If it was a saber grind, flat grind, convex grind would be a little bit different. By a convex grind, I would pull back and lift up just a bit to get to that edge. Um, and then I'm going to show you something else that a lot of the other people don't go over. So I'll start here. I will put my fingers all on the bevel, and I will draw back. I'll probably do five passes. And of course, with diamond cuts really fast and with working with 3V, this is only to maintain. This is only to get that hair popping edge back. It's not to actually sharpen per se or to refine that edge. Half micron is really fine. To this side now. Feel my edge. That is definitely back to hair popping sharp. Another thing I will do a lot of the times, just to get rid of any micro burr, is lightly run the blade through. Now, when I'm sharpening here back and forth, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on that edge. And yeah, in the end, it will slightly convex, but that's okay. Uh, a Scandi Vex grind is a great grind. Now, what else I will do to maintain this 90 degree spine, which nobody ever goes over, is I will lay the flat on here and I will do five passes. And my strop will move. That just shows you how much it's gripping in. And it doesn't actually change the original scratch pattern from Adventure Sworn at all. It's just going to help crisp up that 90 degree edge if you've been using it. I will also take very carefully the knife and I will prop it up on that 90 degree spine. And I will strop it this way as well. Alright. And then I will feel it and go back and look if I think that I've rolled off the edge or I wasn't quite sitting on that spine. Come back. And then I might do the flats again depending on how I feel. So guys, that's what I will do on this, on most of my knives, just to maintain them in between regular sharpenings. Uh, I might sharpen a knife, 
I'm I would say I sharpen knives about every six months, full sharpenings, but it really depends on how much they get used, where they are in my rotation. So this knife being relatively new, this is the second time I've stropped this knife. Uh, the other thing is start out with a clean knife. Before I started this this process, I went and I cleaned the whole blade with Goo Gone to get off any tree saps, any gunk, any residue that was already on the blade. There's still some on the spine, but I wasn't working up there, so I'm not really concerned about that. And right now I'm just checking to see how aggressive this spine feels, which is pretty good. It's not LT right, but it's good. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.